Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play New Horizons. Last time we discovered the Yellow River, Japan, and also we started to go into the United States as we're still waiting for Pietro to find that staff for us. So, that's okay. Uh, we are going to keep going, and um, I'm going to start by purchasing some lumber, because I need to uh, repair some of my ships that um, got damaged from that storm in the last episode. I don't know if you remember that, but... Um, we're just going to keep sailing, and since we're in this area, we might as well go and discover, um, discover what we got in, uh, South America, and, uh, there's a lot of good stuff coming up here. I believe there's lots of villages in this next area, or there's potentially lots of villages. I don't know if we're going to get them. Villages are always randomly decided at the beginning of each game, so you never know which ones you're going to get, and you usually never get the same ones twice. I think there's like a total of 98 villages in the game. Um, and we hope we can find, I think you can find at least 50, I think about 50 of them per game, so there's one right there. Alright, let's see what we got here. Let's stop and take a look. An exotic animal, excellent, let's see what we got here. Ah, the bison. Like a big buffalo, like a big buffalo, so. I guess we must be in, 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 uh, northern, oh, Santa Barbara, I guess we're in, Me near Mexico. Um, because that's Santa Barbara, that's a Mexican town, I think. Of course, I could be way up. No, I'm in California. I'm an idiot. Wow. Sorry, viewers. I had a blonde moment there. So, sorry about that. Hey, another village. Excellent. Oh, where's that, where's that village? Another village. Alright. Start cranking out these villages. I like it. That just means fame and discovery for us. Cool. Be right back. Sweet. Okay, we're at a friendship level of 45. Let's take a look and see what we got. Ooh, a monument. Monuments are always good. Let's see what we got here. Hey, the moment of the sun. Wow, that's pretty cool. That kind of reminds me of that DuckTales episode with, um, I don't know if you remember that, where Scrooge was trying to find the Valley of the Golden Sun. It was a very entertaining episode. It was probably my favorite DuckTales episode as a kid. Um, hopefully you all know what I'm talking about. I don't know why it reminded me of that, it just did. Okay. I figured this was going to happen at this village too, so. Cool. Let me, uh, take care of this. Okay, I only need to go up to ten here, so not a great discovery, but we get an exotic animal. And we get the Mexican beaded lizard. Hmm, it can produce poison in its mouth. I'm going to go ahead and stay away from that thing, so. Okay, go up and get some more of the map uncovered. All right. We got like three or four villages already. That's that's awesome. Another one. Wow. Excellent. Okay, I'm pretty sure this one also can't get anything right away. So, all right, another good one here. Friendship level all the way to 50. Let's see what we got. Love hearing that music. Cultural artifact. Ooh, the crystal skull. Hmm, that's kind of creepy. But hey, all right, we're rocking these discoveries out. I like it. Okay, let's see. Another village. Wow, look at this. We're just, we're just, we're gonna get a ton of fame and adventure when we get back to Europe. Sweet. Be right back. Okay, friendship level of 30 at this village. Let's see what we got. All right. I guess in South America, you get the most cultural artifacts. I think that's definitely true. Um, Popol Vuh. If anybody knows the correct pronunciation, let me know. Wow, that's like six villages already, man, guys. That's great. Okay, there's uh, Guatemala, which we discovered earlier. Uh, let's see if we need to stop. No, we're good. We don't need to stop there just yet. I'll keep discovering. There's Panama. If you want to go in there, you can learn more about the Panama Canal. And we're going to keep on going here. Another village. Make that number seven in our trip. And the port of Kalau. All right. Yes, excellent. That's probably the best message you can get at a village, is that you can find anything first crack. All right, friendship level of 30. And ruins. Let's see what we got here. Ah, the Temple of the Sun. Very nice. 
But you can imagine what that's like. You've seen that in movies such as Ace Ventura and stuff like that. So, okay, let's see what we got here. We uh, yeah, we're gonna need to stop here in a second. I think there's another supply port down this way. Oh, more money. Lindo. Ah, there's one more supply port. We're gonna stop at that one. Where is it? Where is it? Come on, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. That's one I'm gonna stop at. And there's a particular reason I'm gonna stop here. I'll explain it once I've resupplied. So let me resupply and I'll be right back. Okay, we've resupplied, we're ready to go. If you sail directly to the southwest of this supply of this supply port, you actually hit a small island. And you can find sometimes find a star level discovery there. Um in my test run of this video, um, I actually found out that it, that didn't spawn in my game. So but hey, there's another village down there. This is our eighth village in, here in South America. So South America is a great place for finding villages. Okay, let's see what we got here. An exotic animal, right off the bat, okay. Ooh, the vampire bats. Yikes. Yikes. Yep, we're going to stay away from that. We don't want to get bitten. That could be scary. I don't know why they call that an exotic animal, yet they have other things called monsters, which really shouldn't affect us. And now, viewers, if you remember, we're back at this part of the world, where we found earlier. So, I'm going to sail directly to the southwest, to the southeast now. Oops, ooh, a fleet. We haven't taken out a fleet in a while. Ooh, he's back. Yep, we're going to take him out. Because just because I haven't been in a battle in a while, and because we're eventually gonna want to get him on our team. Mogadishu, that's a Portuguese port. Uh uh, sorry, buddy. You are done. That almost makes me wish that I hadn't uh, refilled at that supply port. But oh well. Oh, is the wind dying down? Okay, so check this out, viewers. I don't think we've seen this status uh, yet. So check this out. Now, if you'll notice. The top, um, the top thing is gone. The top uh, arrow is gone. That means that there's no wind. Now, if you were sailing in like a galleon or a Karak or an Exebec or something like that, you wouldn't be able to move right now because those ships require oars to move. But since we're in a ship, or they require sails, and sails require wind. But since we're in a boat that has oars, uh, we can move even if there's no wind. So that's why I always prefer Venetians and La Rails and and um, light galleys and stuff like that. So there you go. Okay, so I'm going to start heading directly to the northeast now. Well, I'm going to move a little bit further out because I want to discover some more of the black. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to start making our way back to Europe. Might as well. Wasn't really planning on doing that, but... And uh, yeah, we don't need to worry about purchasing gold or anything like that because I'll just do that on the next round. And I got enough money to last me, so... Okay, yep, doing good. Discovering more of the black. I like it. Notice I'm always checking my map viewers just to make sure that I'm discovering the most... Uh-oh. That could that could be not good. See, I hate when my guys aren't paying attention. We need a random storm that comes up. Okay, let's see the damage on that. That's probably going to be... Uh... Well, I'll, t I'll take a look when I get to shore. Okay, and we're back at shore. Let's see what we got here. Nope, we'll let him go. Man, my ships are just taking a beating. Holy cow. Okay, repair and... Ooh, 40 planks of lumber. I don't think I'll even be able to... Yeah, I still have to get some more lumber to repair the rest of my ships. Yikes. Okay, well, it looks like I'm going to have to go win a battle anyway. Okay. Okay, who we got there? Nope, we'll let him go too. Because they're going to go invest, do some investing for us. Okay, let's see. Moving right along. Yeah, notice that we can't go as fast, because our power got destroyed as a result of that storm. So, Okay, let's see. We're going to now go to... First thing we might as well do is go to sell our discoveries. Why not? So we'll head to Bordeaux. Take care of, take care of selling those discoveries. I'll probably pick up some balm too while I'm there. And I will be right back. Okay, we might as well re, uh, we might as well head up to Amsterdam while we're here, and uh, take care of selling off the map. And then uh, once I do that, I'm going to show you um, how much fame and adventure I got, just because I think it's, it's it's really cool how much we got. Um, yep, so there's those British battle fleets again. Don't worry about those guys. Ah, who's this? Hmm. 
Yeah, I can't let this guy go. Sorry. So I want to get him on, get him on my team too. Be right back. Okay, one of those guys is bound to show up. So I'm going to stop here in Amsterdam. And I'll look for them off screen. And we should be able to track them down. At least one of them anyway. So, okay, we're here in Amsterdam. And I have to show you this, but... Um, look at that. Um, I was at 23,000 Fame and Adventure. I'm now at 33,000 of Fame and Adventure. Just from selling off, I had 20 discoveries. Um, 20 villages, so that's awesome. So, Okay, I'm out of time, unfortunately. I'm going to go uh, sell my information to Mercator. And hopefully in the ne next episode, we'll be able to find out if Pietro's got that staff yet. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.